everyone, Zoe here from MakerCrafty.com and today I'm going to show you how I create a scene using rubber stamps and masking tape. I've started with a pre-cut size and it's 5 by 6 inches and here I'm going to be using Eclipse masking tape which is quite old, I've had it for years and it's a little bit hard to find now but there's lots of other brands on the market and you can even use copy paper with um, some tacky glue as well. I've also already stamped and cut out the main images that I'm going to be using. I've got Bagheeta Snow's Heart from CC Designs and the two pine trees are from Make It Crafty. I'm also cutting up another three pieces of masking tape and this is what I'm going to use to create the snow slopes. I generally like to place my characters just off center. I find that this helps to create a little bit more interest Plus it also creates a bit of extra room if you wanted to put a sentiment on the side. So now I'm going to start creating the snow slopes. I'm placing one of those pieces that we cut earlier and I'm just drawing on a rough snow slope and I'm going to cut that out. So I'm going to do that with all three pieces. And as I said before, you could actually just use copy paper to do this and just add a little bit of tacky glue on the back. The fun thing about creating your masks first is that it gives you the opportunity to play around with how your scene's going to look. And what I've found here is that that tree on the left just isn't tall enough. So I'm going to pull that back, I'm going to move it up a little bit higher and I'll have to slant that snow a little bit more. And then I'm happy now with the scene. Had I have been doing all the stamping, I wouldn't have been able to change. So now I'm ready to start stamping the scene and I'm using Memento Ink so I can use my Copics later. I start by stamping the stamp that's going to be closest to the viewer at the end. In this case, that's Birgitta. I've stamped her down and I'm just putting the mask over the top of her. And then I'm going to put this first snow slope on. I'm just working out where that tree is going to go. And I've already put that onto the block. Now because it's a red rubber stamp, of course you can't see through it. And because I don't want to get that snow on the bottom to be showing through, I want that to be covered. I'm just placing a little bit of tape, lining it up with the bottom of that trunk so that when I turn it over, I will know where that bottom of the trunk is and I can line the tape up with the top of the masking tape there. I'm just inking that up and I'm going to line that up as best as I can. And that turned out not too bad. And so I'm going to cover that with the mask. And then we're ready to put the next snow slope on. And again, I'm just working out where the little one's going to go. Now, you'll see that I've just peeled that off. I'm actually using a product called Tack and Peel, which I put onto the block. It's fantastic for unmounted rubber stamps. And if it starts to lose its tackiness, you just simply wash it and then let it dry and it becomes tacky again. It's absolutely fabulous. I'm just putting on the last snow slope now. And then we're going to be ready to ink the sky. I'm starting with the tumbled glass and I love these round foam pads. They're perfect for this type of work where you don't want to get the edges of the, I found that with the rectangular ones I'd always get lines. So I'm going to do the top part of the sky with the stormy sky and I'm just going to use a round motion here to try and reduce any lines and I'm not taking it all the way down. I'm going to blend the two colours with the tumbled glass. And I'm starting over the dark and then bringing that down towards the light because I don't want to 
pick up any of that tumble or sorry the stormy sky and take it over the bottom so I'm just trying to be careful about that okay so now we can peel off the top snow slope and to help add definition to the next snow slope just want to add a little bit of ink at the bottom there be careful not to cover it all and as we pull off the mask you'll see how that creates the definition or that defines the next snow slope. So we're going to do that again. Very lightly, you only need a very small amount. And I probably could have put on less myself. It's so easy to put on too much. Okay, and then finally, we're going to put a little bit at the bottom. You could leave this if you wanted to, but I like to frame the bottom just a little bit. And then we're going to pull off the last mask. And that's the finished scene. A little bit fiddly cutting out all those masks, but definitely worth it in the end. And you can keep them for future projects. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.